Welcome to this Performance Education Systems Fast Track presentation. In this session, we will discuss the fundamental essentials of amino acids and amino acid supplementation. Amino acids are sometimes referred to as the building blocks of life. They are the core compounds of proteins, tissues, antibodies, and more. Carbohydrates, fats, and amino acids are comprised of hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. Amino acids are unique in that they also contain nitrogen. However, some amino acids are also sulfur-bearing. The nitrogen component is what gives amino acids their unique characteristics and functionality in the body. Amino acids link together to form whole strands of proteins. Protein strands combine to form tissues like muscle. A single strand of protein may be compared to a chain of beads, each bead being like a single amino acid. The essential amino acids are those that the body cannot produce. The essential amino acids are absolutely required by the body. Because these amino acids are needed but cannot be manufactured, they are considered to be essential for human development. Essential amino acids must therefore be obtained in the diet through foods and or supplementation. The essential amino acids are L-leucine, isoleucine, valine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan, lysine, and for children, histidine. The non-essential amino acids are amino acids that the body can manufacture. Under normal conditions, the body produces plenty of these amino acids. The conditionally essential amino acids may be an exception to this rule. The conditionally essential amino acids are a class of non-essential amino acids that are said to become essential under certain conditions, such as physical and emotional stress thus the term conditionally essential. The conditionally essential amino acids that may impact performance the most are L-glutamine, L-arginine, and L-tyrosine. The branched chain amino acids are essential amino acids with a branched molecular structure, thus the term branched chain. The three BCAAs are L-leucine, L-isoleucine, and L-valine. The big deal about the BCAAs is that they are among the first of the amino acids to be pulled from muscle tissue to be used as fuel during intense training. Supplemental BCAAs may help to offset this muscle tissue depletion and provide a source of exercise fuel. This has been a Performance Education Systems Fast Track presentation. For more educational resources, visit www dot performance dash edu dot com